is going on here. This is the most stressful thing. Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. So this week I wanted to do something a little bit different than normal, actually a lot of bit different than normal. And that is a video where we're just watching what the animals do when I'm not around. I've wanted to do this video for a little while now. And so I was super excited when Rio Link, which is a security camera company, reached out to me to try out one of their security cameras. This video is not sponsored by them. They did send me the product for free to test out, but they did not pay me anything to say anything in particular about the camera. They just sent it to me to test and I thought it seemed like it'd be a fun video. I am not showing all the reptiles in this just because I can't show all of them. Like Zaz, for example, she has just started brumation and so it would be super boring if we watched her because she just kind of sits around and sleeps all day. So I'm just showing the ones that were most active and that I thought I could maybe get some kind of cool footage of. Really quick before before we get started on all the cuteness, if you missed the pinned comment in last week's video, some of you guys were asking me to start a Patreon and I'm gonna be honest, I don't have time to put out extra content, I'm so sorry. And I would just feel so bad if you guys started signing up for monthly things from me and then there was nothing there. So I did take a page out of Reptile Mountain's book and signed up for a buy me a coffee page. So basically I just set up a virtual virtual tip jar for those of you that were interested in supporting the channel that way. And thank you so much to those of you that are. That means the absolute world. Just thought I'd throw that out there. I'm going to watch these with you guys. So my laptop is right here in front of me. So if I'm looking down, that's why. But let's watch them. I'm kind of excited. I hope they're exciting. <laughs> So this first clip is when I very first set it up and I didn't quite know how to adjust things. So the picture was upside down and the time's like up in the middle dead center. So super weird clip, but it gets better. I figured it out. And you can see this was a first thing in the morning one morning. And so this is him just retreating back to his normal favorite sleeping spot where he will sleep for the rest of the day. Let's go on to the next footage. A little later that same day, we are looking at Morty and he's just, he's just kind of exploring and hanging out. Oh, that's kind of cool. Watching him burrow. I have never watched him burrow this way and it's actually really cool. He definitely makes use of this tank. And as you can see, he definitely needs more room. So he will be getting a new tank very, very soon, you guys. It will be on its way here very soon. And he's gonna get an upgrade. So be on the lookout for a whole new Blue Tongue Skink build video very soon. And then looking at Sterling, he is just going and going and going and going. I knew that he glass surfed a lot. I knew that he moved around a lot especially now he's always trying to get to the female that is on the top. I knew that he did this a lot, so it's kind of cool to actually watch it, to actually watch him just going and going and going and going. Looking at the timestamp, this video was eight minutes long. That is eight minutes of him just moving and moving nonstop, which is so cool. And I was very impressed with the quality of this camera, especially the night vision shots. It's really cool looking at him in night vision. He almost looks like he has no scales. He definitely does. And for people that ask in every single video of Sterling, the little black dots on him are not mites. He is a banana ball python. And as banana ball pythons get older, they get more and more black spots, kind of like a ripening banana. So that is completely normal for his morph. Those are black dots on his scales themselves. And I if I can find it, we'll insert right here a little clip of a super up close shot I did with a microscope on him so that you can see that they are just black dots on his scales. He looks so squishy. <laughs> Moving on to Percy. This is another really cool nighttime shot. And I was hoping by putting it here that I would get some footage of her digging because she loves to dig at night. And did we get any footage of that? Of course not. She's like, done. She was not having it. She said that she was not ready for her close-up. <laughs> so dumb. 
On to Dexter. I was really excited about Dexter because Dexter is a nighttime animal, so we don't ever get to see him unless it is nighttime and we are asleep. So I was really excited to get footage of him moving around his tank at night. That high qualityness of this nighttime shot is so awesome and his eyes look so creepy. It's so cool the way he just moves around this tank. That is so awesome. And this footage will have like no audio. This does record audio. There is a two-way microphone on the camera for security purposes, which after this, it will go outside for security. It does record audio, but a lot of the audio on mine was just me and my husband talking in the background or kids screaming and playing or dogs barking in the background but is he gonna jump is he gonna jump he's gonna jump he's gonna jump did he die <laughs> yeah just <laughs> i heard him smack over there and i was like where is it where is it where is it <laughs> 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 Oh, this is kind of cool. I never get to see this. I mentioned in the past that crested geckos sometimes won't drink out of a water dish because they'll just drink standing water in their tank and they'll drink from leaves. And this is Dexter going around to these leaves of this pothos plant and just licking water droplets off of it, which is super cool. I've seen him lick water off of the glass in his tank, the sides of the tank, but never just directly off of these leaves. So that's super cool. This whole video is just me being all giddy and just, that's so cool. I don't think you can climb that. I don't think that's climbable. I don't think that's climbable. He's going higher. This is the most stressful thing. How is this plant holding him? I did not know he climbed this plant and it makes so much sense now because if you look at all the leaves on this Dracaena plant, they're all scraggly and bent and I just thought they grew that way, but apparently no. Apparently he's smushing them on a nightly basis. I don't understand how it's holding him. I just feel like at any moment he's just gonna tumble. It is a slide and he's safe. That is so crazy. I never in a million years would have guessed that he climbed up that plant or that he could climb up that plant or that the, that that plant would support him because how? And this last clip is of Cersei. I was really hoping to get some cool footage of her because we never see her. And I did get footage of her out, which I don't think I have at all on any other video, except for just putting her into a tank and her running away or just quick pictures of her when she's out. But this is basically all she did the whole time. She just sat here, she moved a little, she sat down, but she is still really enjoying the Sterilite bin. I have a 40 gallon Sterilite bin. It might be 50 gallons. But I have a much bigger Sterilite bin for her that I will be moving her to actually in the next couple of days. So she should be happy with that, hopefully. And hopefully it doesn't stress her out too much. Hopefully she enjoys it. But that is it for this video. If you guys are interested in this camera, the link will be in the description. And I also have a discount code here if you want it and you can save some money. Thank you so much to Real Link for sending in the camera. I really enjoyed it. This camera is a solar power camera that's meant to go on the outside of your house but I just wanted to record some animals mine will go out there eventually I just wanted to record some animals and see what they were doing hopefully you enjoyed watching these clips with me even though it's just a bunch of me saying aw and staring at my animals with this giant goofy smile on my face but hopefully at least some of you guys enjoyed this slight change of pace I hope everyone is staying safe and staying well and and being happy and doing things that make you happy in these bleh times to say the absolute very least as always guys if you have not already please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like subscribe and hit that bell for notifications every single time i put out a new video which is every sunday and some wednesdays this week's instagram shout out goes to lightning the leopard gecko for following me on instagram and going through and liking a whole bunch of my stuff this week's subscriber shout out goes to gina puma she has followed me for quite a long time she has been super supportive so thank you so much to both of you guys you are the bees knees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Alrighty. Neighbors. Why are you ro rotating? Stop rotating.
Alright, so... This looks Instagram channel.